You know, they, they say the kids are all right. And it's a good song. I don't know if they are or not, but I do know this. They're not afraid and they're out shopping. That's exactly right, Brian. The, the teenager is happy to reach into their wallet and they generally feel invincible. So you've seen them come back to the stores. And if you rewind to last year when stores reopened, who came back first? It was the teen. Abercrombie had 80% traffic returned to stores when we reopened last year, whereas the department stores had about 50%. So those are the those that's the demographic that's coming out. And certainly you saw um, American Eagle results up their guidance. You've seen Urban Outfitters talk about high single digit comps. And by the way, this growth that they're talking about is not versus last year. It's versus 2019. So that shows you the spending power and how strong that particular customer is coming back. That was against, so I feel even more silly talking about California then. So that data would, and I'm happy to be wrong on that case, Stacey, because that implies it's sort of even more bullish in a certain way. Maybe that's the, the bust out trade. Just got to get out, get out of the house, get away from mom and dad and, you know, hit the mall once again. And that's exactly what's happening. And, you know, it's great that so many retailers are not giving us the numbers over last year because who cares, right? Nothing was happening. They're giving us versus 2019 to see an actual picture of their future here. And, you know, even we heard from Bed Bath & Beyond this week, they were talking about a little bit of a normalization of the mix between digital and physical. So the customer clearly, their stimulus checks, people got their jabs in their arms. They're coming back. I mean, mall traffic is still down double digits but it's getting better and better day by day. And the brands that were strong and consolidated market share are coming back. They're coming roaring back. American Eagle. You know, we haven't talked about them for years. Kind of like the seagull of retail in a way. Suddenly now they're this majestic bird flying again. Who is American Eagle and why are they doing so well? So American Eagle is, is the perfect trade here, right, on the team consumer because they're, they're half airy, which is lounge, lingerie. They've been taking share from Victoria's Secret, and they've done an amazing pivot just into comfort, loungy college wear. And then, of course, the other half is denim and fashion, which, by the way, is now coming back. Levi's even commenting that they're seeing people, you know, getting ready to go out again, and they're even putting on hard pants again. Denim, there's a resurgence here. So, you know, we all need to start working out so we can get those pants buttoned up again. So, you know, American Eagle is probably best positioned in that space because they've, they've got both. They're, they're kind of a hedge on yeah. hard pants versus athleisure. Well, based on those those weight, unfortunately, those weight gain trends that we showed a couple of weeks ago, you, you're exactly right. Stacey, on a more serious note, I know, I know you were back in New York a couple of weeks ago. It was great to see you, by the way, like actual adults in a grown-up world. <laughs> but we talked about Fifth Avenue and Madison Avenue. And a lot of the stores there, you know, they lose money, but they want the physical presence, kind of a museum or a show-off store. And I'm sorry to say this, New York City is grim. Folks, if you're out there, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's a ghost town. Uh, are those stores coming back or is, or is Madison Avenue and Fifth Avenue, I mean the physical streets, are they really in big trouble? I think they are. And, you know, I was, I continue to be, you know, you go to these capitals and you walk around Midtown or where these flagships used to be. There's nobody there. There's nothing going on. And we don't expect tourism really to come back in a meaningful way, probably until 2022. So unfortunately, yes, those tourist destinations are going to be under major pressure. And also the rents haven't come down enough to, to attract those new stores. And you are hearing in luxury, they're talking about, hey, do we really need all these museum stores? So it's a huge issue long-term. And Levi's even pointed out that some of their, their, their stores are very tourist city destinations. They're talking about even wholesale outperforming their stores. So, right, everybody was mm. walking away from wholesale. Maybe wholesale is now your new friend. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.